What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today what we're going to be going over is a men's cut. And I've actually cut this guy's hair. This is Brian Shrek, one of our friends. Uh, and I've, I've cut his hair before, and what I did was I left the top a little bit longer. This is one of those cases where I cut somebody's hair, and then I, uh, for the first time ever, and then I brought them back in, and I made some changes that I believe bettered his haircut. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this cut. It's definitely real salon reality. I think you're gonna like it. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, here we go with our step-by-step. -step. All right, guys, so I'm super excited to bring you guys this video. This is my pal Shrek. Uh, I've cut his hair before, which we've talked about. So uh, if you want to check out the previous haircut, definitely go find that video. It's one of the vlogs in the last month or so. Um, if you guys are longtime subscribers to this channel, you've seen me do the sides the way that I'm doing them right now. So if you want, you can skip ahead to the 345 mark, and that's when we get into the fun stuff, the scissor cutting, the texturizing, and all that. If you're a new subscriber, Thank you for checking out the channel, and I'm gonna go over what I'm doing now. So I started off with a two guard. I'm working my way through. This is the Andis Master Series Clipper. I love this clipper because um, it's really powerful, um, but it's also very precise, and it's in it for the long haul, so it's gonna last you a really long time. I'm using the uh, magnetic detachable guards on there, and like I said, this is the two guard. So I just work my way through. I like to find my standard length. I'm not a barber, I'm a hairdresser, a salon owner. Um, so the way that I like to work a men's cut, I don't usually take them down super tight um, unless that's what they're looking for. So this is a pretty standard cut in my salon. So I work my way through standard two guard length. And then if I want to take it shorter or tighter around the edges, I'll do that. And then I go through and create a lot of texture on top. I love uh, the top of men's cuts and I like to break that down. So that's what we're going to do in a little bit. So I'm working my way around the edges that you can see that diagonal back line right there. Um, so I like to keep that heaviness because later I'm going to go in and texturize it. So I'm not necessarily going to leave all of that weight in there, but it gives me something to work with later on in the haircut. I go through with my trimmer. I do a little trimmer over comb. I'm using my YS Park 209 comb. That comb is great. It has a handle built into it. It's great for barbering, uh, using uh, trimmer over comb, clipper over comb, scissor over comb, anything like that. So I'm gonna go through, uh, work the lines around the edges. I like to finish that off because then when I go to do the texturizing on the top of the haircut, it's just a complete look for me. I can see how everything is going. So I just work my way through the edges. You can see trimmer over comb, just taking it nice and tight around the sides. Um, but a lot of my guys don't like it skin tight. They don't want a skin tight fade. They, they don't come to me for that. So uh, the tightest I'm gonna take this right now is our one guard. I'm gonna. Uh, half close the uh, blade. Um, so fully open would be our longest point and then fully closed would be the tightest point to the head. Um, I'm going to go halfway in there, see how that blends because everybody's hair is different. And I think a lot of people, um, look at a guard and they might say a two guard and a guy walks into the salon, they ask for a two guard. Well, a two guard means different things to different hair types. So Shrek doesn't have a huge density, uh, in his hair. It's not super thick. So a two guard is going to look a lot skinnier on on his hair than it is on somebody with really thick hair. Now we're moving into the fun part. This is our 345 mark. So you subscribers, welcome back to this part. Um, now I'm going through using my dual texture scissor. This is the Mizutani Type Z Dual. The thing I love about this is both uh, sides of the blade have teeth. And because they both have teeth, there's no blade to get tangled up in the hair. So it just glides through, uh, removes perfect amount of weight as I work my way through the hair. So you can see that's where I left that crown area a little thicker. So I just go through diagonally and use my trimmer to just blend it up a bit. I want to leave some length in the top area of his haircut because I want that texture when I put the product in at the end. So right now I'm sectioning it off. I go down, uh, right down center. So almost parting it like we did in the 90s with the bowl cut, um, just sectioning it off. You don't have to use clips in a guy's hair that's this short, so I like to go through just kind of 
partition it, I guess you could say, um, so that I can figure out exactly what I'm going to do with this cut. We're working in the crown area. The crown area is the toughest part in a men's cut. You can see that Shrek has a little bit of a cowlick back there. So what I like to do is just kind of move the hair with my hand as I'm going through and cutting to make sure it's falling right. If somebody has a really strong cowlick, I like to leave a little extra length in there. For me, that works the best because it's going to allow me to, uh, blow dry the hair, allow your guests to blow dry the hair or you at home or whatever. Um, so when you have this type of haircut and your hairdresser does this technique on you, you shouldn't have a problem with your calyx sticking up. Now we're going to go through the top. I'm just going to work kind of a horizontal line. Um, some people call it vertical, depends on where you went to school, but just straight across the head. And I want to elevate it straight up, keeping my finger flat parallel to the top of the head, going through and using point cutting. I'm using point cutting throughout the entire top of Shrek's haircut. We're taking it a lot shorter than we did last time. And the reason for that is I want to have that texture. I want to have the movement in there. Um, so the product's not doing all the work. The actual haircut is helping out with that as well. Once I get to the front, you can see that back over direction. I wanted to push a little weight into the front. We're going to deal with that in a little bit. Um, a lot of times in haircutting, what I like to do is over direction pushes weight somewhere else. So if I over direct the hair back, it's pushing the weight to the front. Then I can go in and then cut the front later. It doesn't mean that I'm over directing and just leaving it in the front. There's always some detail work that needs to be done later on. So every little bit, a lot of people ask me about recession points. Shrek has a little bit of a recession in his hair. Um, so it's kind of going back a little bit. So when I over direct the hair back, that gives me that weight in the front right here. So now I can go in Mizutani Puffin dry cutting scissor. Love this thing. It's one of my favorite tools. I go through and I just glide through doing a slide cutting technique, creating that texture in the very front, taking off some of that length from the over direction that we did before. So just going through detailing, the puffin is great because it does have that little sharp point to it. So um, uh, definitely a cool tool. And make sure that you stay tuned for the very end of the video because I have a special discount code for any Mizutani scissor on freesaloneducation.com. So if you're looking for a new scissor, you can get that code at the end. So now I go through, I'm going to work the Mizutani Puffin deeper into this. So I went through and I cut, I was using the DB20 scissor before, a 5.7 inch scissor. That's my precision scissor when I go through and cut. And that cut the lines that I wanted and the length. Now what I'm doing is going through dry and doing a deeper point cut to create those kind of peaks and valleys in his cut. Now the dual texture scissor was gliding through the top. Um, just to create that texture in the front. And I got one more texturizing technique that we're going to do. But what I like to do is once I get the hair pretty much where I want it, I blow dry it to get all those loose hairs out because that can make the hair appear thicker or feel thicker. And you don't want to take out too much bulk on somebody's hair. So I go through what you're going to see me doing is uh, working that blade, this is the dual texture, starting at mid shaft, working my way to the ends, it just lightens up the front. That's where we did all that over directing. So it's a, it's definitely a lot heavier at that point. Now I'm going to go through blow drying using the 209 comb, blow drying the hair exactly the way I want it. I cannot urge guys enough. If you're a guy watching this and you want to take this video to your hairdresser or whatever, um, you definitely have to start blow drying your hair. Blow drying your hair is gonna put the hair where you want it. And then this product, this is the Carve from Bricado, one of my favorite texture products. Uh, we also have that product on freesaloneducation.com. But the product doesn't need to do all the work. Your hair is gonna fall down if you, if you feel like your hair gets weaker throughout the day. That's probably why, because you're not blow drying your hair. Put your hair where you want it, then just go through and add the product to add that detail. There's our finished result. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you like this cut. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. We'll see you on the next video. All right, guys, like always, if you liked that cut, let me know. Uh, post in the comments below. Also, join fsesocial.com. That's our social media site where you can talk to other hairdressers from all over the world. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.